when becoming a starting point guard, you have a certain type of trust that's, you know, wanted out of you and a certain type of trust on the court that's needed in you. Now, as I'm sitting here in a nice little poster, you know, with the homies, it's telling me to defend my home court. So you know what that means, right? It's time for me to get down and dirty and get this thing rocking this season. Let's go Sixers. tougher opponent on that particular day. Not only a tougher opponent, but a red-hot team, Steve. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Ramon Sessions and Anthony Parker in the back. Jamison and Verizhao in the middle. And it's Graham in at the small forward position. And for the 76ers, Brand and Spates are in the middle. Then there's no Sione. Then there's Iguodala. And I think the big question going forward for Cleveland was, what's next? How do you move on from LeBron James leaving? And the answer for the Cavaliers, they're trying to build up their young talent base. They acquired a pick from the Clippers, so they had two lottery picks last summer. And they're trying to get better and build with their youth. So Cleveland will get the first possession. The captain gets the nod, and this is the first time hearing his name called in the starting line. Well, this shows you just how much they like this young man. First round pick, and already a starter, working his way up in this league. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Alpha King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm finally bringing you guys my game as a starter. After 16 whole games in the NBA, it's finally been done. I'm finally a starter for the NBA Philadelphia 76ers. Finally, man, it's about time. Now, I'm a lot of games in, and I know I'm bringing you, you guys these games kind of late, and I, it's totally my fault. It's totally my fault. I promise you it is. But, you know, I had a lot of things cooking up, and, you know, this is one thing that I wanted to work on and that I had a lot to talk about. Now, first and foremost, the first thing on my agenda, I'm going to get this out the way real quick. For everybody out there, you know, in this whole YouTube world and everything, if you ask me for a shout out, just to let you know, if I do give you a shout out, I'm not going to tell you about it. It's just going to be a random thing, but I give shout outs when credit is due. I don't just randomly, you know, shout out people because I don't, I don't, you know, want to become that type of person that says, oh, he's always just shouting people out for no reason. And then you never hear about them ever again. And the reason for that being is, guys. A lot of people, you know, that give out shout outs, that's because they're their homies, man. You got to be my homie, like, and you got to have credit when credit is due. Now, this is my one and only shout out for this entire video because credit is there when credit is due. Now, check this out. A guy named Make You Famous on YouTube has came out with an NBA 2K12 issues video. Yo, this thing is bonkers, bananas. Listen, he found a problem with the signature moves and attributes for most you know superstars in NBA 2k12 now when I mean you know he found problems with it you have dudes in here that have a 90 and up dunk rating with a rookie dunk package a rim grazer package you have dudes out here with a 95 and up layup package with a rookie or not not even an all-star maybe a pro layup package and their attributes and tendencies and everything are all off now you guys just you know go down in the description you know check out the the link and the video will be there now i, I know i just ran it for like you know the whole first half of this video but it yo it's credit when credit is due man like this video is crazy like he really shows all the problems that's wrong with nba 2k 12 now we about to jump into halftime after these next few plays and i promise you i'm gonna talk more about the gameplay how Virgil is just beasting the entire Philadelphia 76ers team. But we did make a rally and a comeback. And I promise you, in the second half, you, know, you guys won't be disappointed on how you know much much of a passer I am. 
It's all tied in Philadelphia. And we'll be right back here in Philadelphia. Hello and good Monday night. Let's get right into our HP Halftime Report. It's been the 76ers scrapping it out. A tough start for them this season. They need some wins, but you got to get them one at a time. A good start for Elton Brand. He has eight points and a few assists, making nice plays for himself and others. On the other hand, Cleveland also been giving it their best. They've limited the second chance buckets. They've been crashing the defensive glass, playing big on the defensive end. Anderson Verajao certainly contributing with his play. He's up to nine points, is really hitting the glass hard to boot. These two enjoyed great first halves, really leading the way for both teams. We could be in for a great finish. And now looking on other games from the NBA as we go around the league. The Bucks winning against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Look to be in complete control there. No problems in that one. Their top scorer was Steven Jackson. And checking out another game that wrapped up, the Nuggets over at Pepsi Center losing to the Magic. They couldn't get anything going, it seemed. Their leading scorer, Wilson Chandler. And now we'll look at the other NBA action. Out at Prudential Center, it's the Nets trailing to Toronto. That won a great game so far, down by only one in the fourth. And that's going to do it. We'll send you back to the game in Philadelphia. The third quarter is up next. So many times I should have taken back this moment. These the third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. I showed too much weight. I hold it too much pain. And it destroyed me. All right, y'all, let's get into the third quarter. It looks like I'm running a fast break, but, you know, I immediately get stopped. But it's okay. You know, I can't shoot mid-range jump shots for days. If nobody's going to put in a hand in my face, I'm just going to keep shooting all game long. Now, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get somebody to cut, but it seems like nobody wants to cut. Um, for some reason, it's like they're reverting back to NBA 2K11 where no one cuts. So, you know, I got to take the game into my own hands and just do what I can. By shooting mid-range jump shots all game. Now check it guys. If I don't score. Then that means that my team is going to lose. By 60. Straight up and down. If I do not score. They're going to lose horribly. So you know. Sometimes I got to come down. And just you know. Do my own thing. Instead of worrying about the team. Now when the team starts doing. You know. What they're supposed to be doing. You know. Playing their parts. And playing their positions. I'm going to get them the ball. You know. Or. I'm going to sit up there, just stand in one spot, and get loose, you know, just like how I'm about to get loose right here. <laughs> Why not pull a dirk out? <laughs> it ain't about nothing. Now, right here, you know, it's, it's, it's just crazy what I can do as a, you know, defensive person. But check out what they do on defense, man. Look, I'm going to just come down. You know, I got my three steals or more or something like that achievement. Now watch this. Oh, my brain can't even hold on to the ball, man. But it's all good. Now watch this. Spates misses. That entire defensive run that we just had was all for nothing. Now that's how bad things get. Now as I'm, you know, playing aggressive defense trying to steal the ball, you know, look at that fail. Total fail. Now why is a person missing a wide open pass for no reason? But I guess that's just the way 2K12 does things around here. But, you know, we can't call it. But I'm going to get back to the post, man. Yo, I know it looked kind of weird how I'm trying to hump dude. But look at this weird animation. I don't know what happened. But as long as I got the layup, that's all that matters. <laughs> For real. All right, we're down 12. I'm on a nice little fast break here. I see no Sione, but I just got to pull it, man. I, I'm sorry. I'm a slingshot type of guy. You know, you might as well call me a QB. I guess I'm the QB at the um, court. <laughs> For real, man. It's hard It's hard to play this game, man. Um, you try to spark runs, but, you know, with Iggy on my team, it ain't about nothing. Slam can, baby. Such a flashy play. Ah, that's crazy. Yo, Iggy, your haircut, cuz. <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right, now my objective has been completed to spark a run. We were down about 12, but, you know, I'm trying to spark like a 7-0 run real quick. Trying to get my team on, you know, some defensive stuff right now. Oh, look at that. Hands up. Hand down, man down. Check me out. Am I going to rise on him? You know, it's all good. I got the room grazer package. Why not? 
All right, let's see what I can do here. I'm trying trying to be very, very aggressive with uh that guy right there. I can't remember his name, but just let Iggy do it. He can do it. Oh, come on, Iggy. What was the 360 or something? You got to give these fans some type of, you know, some hype. Bam. <laughs> All right, it's 95-92. minute and a half left. What y'all call this in the NFL? The two-minute warning or something like that? <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's we out. All right, I'm turning on the burners. I don't really see many people open. I wanted to pull, but it's all good. I just got another milestone, you know. Ain't about nothing. I get milestones like it ain't nothing. Ah, come on, man. Okay, all right. Iggy just doesn't. All right, there we go. All right, you know what I'm about to do? Pump fake, pull, and miss it like a god. Listen, all right. Now, when you missing shots like that, that's very, very easy shots. That's because of your offensive clutch, you know, your consistency, your mid-range jump shot, your shoot-off dribble, your shooting traffic, whatever you want to call it, all your shot tendencies. You know, if you don't got those up, you're going to lose horribly. It has just been announced that you have been named the Conference Player of the Week for the past week. This is the first time you've received this award. Can we expect more of this from you in the future? You know what I should have asked her? I should have asked her to ask me another question. Because to tell you the truth, I really don't care much about, you know, becoming a player of the week. It really doesn't matter to me, man. I'm all about wins. Um, I'm trying to get a ring. Lady, come on. What, what are you doing to me here? You're, you're making me look good while my team is doing bad. I know I just became, why didn't you ask me about me becoming a starter or something? That would have been so much better than you asking me about becoming a conference player of the week. Even though it's a big deal, you know, it's all good. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the love. Thanks to all my fans, but I, w I would have been better off with something else, something easy. Kill me. I just, I don't know what to do, man. 2K, I love you, but y'all need some patches. You know what? All right, coach. This this goes to you, coach. Um, we need to get Drew Holiday up out of here. Um, Iggy Iggy can stay. Iggy can stay. Um, why did you trade that as young? I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Brain, he's getting too old, coach. Come on, coach. What are you doing to me, coach? He's getting old, man. I can't take it no more. Um, also, why is Space running in the center? What happened to Spencer Halls? Is he locked in the basement? All right. It's cool. Iggy, let's go to you. Get a goddamn haircut. Please, you're killing me, Iggy. You're looking like a like a crack fiend out there, man. Looking like somebody on 52nd Street, cuz waiting for the bus, but ain't got no tokens. <laughs> you looking bad out there, baby. Also, this goes to everybody out there in the in the stands, you know, in the seats with all these black suits on. Why in the hell is everybody wearing black? Why ain't nobody got nothing on versatile and that like Y'all look the same. <laughs> look at the back of the dude's heads. Like they, it's, they're probably the same people. <laughs> it's all good. Look at the cameraman on the on the side of the screen. He's just holding the camera diligently. I know his arms getting kind of tired because you know I'm talking a whole lot. His bad. Also, up on the screen, big screen, the plasma, the HD TV, the LCD, LED. Why in the hell it ain't got no highlights from the game? I was doing my thing. I'm just saying I was doing my thing. That's all that matters. But uh yeah let's read off the questions um i certainly hope so i can easily keep winning these i'll do my best to win more if people think i deserve it now we have professional loyal arrogant and indifferent they're just named different this year that really doesn't mean anything all you got to do is look at it like that you know x is a uh, what's that thing called again professional square is loyal circle is arrogant and triangle is indifferent it's just not that hard to understand you know what answer will get you the thumbs up or the, the thumbs down on whatever answer you get but you know I, I am taking up you guys time um thanks for sitting with me let this dude answer these questions i'm gonna sit back and relax <laughs> man i certainly hope so feels incredible to be singled out from all the great players in the conference I'd like to give my thanks to the coaching staff here, my great teammates, and of course all the fans that come out every night and cheer us on through thick and thin, man. Thanks, everyone. It was great.